Hello everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Nightmare Mode. I've got a bit of time to record tonight before movie night. Because we are watching um, Late Night with the Devil, so I'm not going to be able to record during the movie like I usually do sometimes if I'm not interested in it. Because I actually want to watch this one, so. We are going to record right now for like an hour or so and see how it goes. So last time we left off, we were going over to the... Um, Substation, that's where all the insects are. Let's see. We should have enough health. Oh yeah, I forgot, we got, we're gonna heal over there because you have to use a green herb mandatory, so... Yeah, we might as well heal over there. There's gonna be dogs coming after us, so... We gotta be ready, but... We should be able to use the electricity against them. Yeah, they're watching Late Night with the Devil tonight and Chucky afterwards, so I'm not going to be able to have, you know, free time to record like I usually do. Sometimes I just record and leave that on in the background, even though you guys can't hear it, but not this time. I actually want to watch this movie, so here it's pretty good, although people are throwing a bitch about the um, AI they used in some of the, um, in some of the um, drawings. The whole thing was stupid, too. Like, I get their argument. They could have paid illustrators easily for that to do the, to do those uh, skeletons and stuff with uh, actual drawings but thing is um they're talking about boycotting this movie and all this shit and it's like dude nobody's gonna care the studios are not gonna care if you boycott this one small movie they're just gonna say fuck it and never fi finance another small movie again that you're not gonna affect them if you really want to strike back at AI, you have to boycott large huge movies that use it not not some low budget indie horror flick that no one outside of shutter is gonna give a shit about come on man don't be stupid even so, it still did pretty well, so I'm guessing only a few hundred people, or maybe even a few dozen at the most, actually took that advice to boycott, seriously. As always, let me know if the it's too dark or not, because I'm, on the screen it seems pretty dark, but at the same time, this is a dark alley, so... You know, it's supposed to be dark. Gotta move carefully, here they come. Come on, doggles. Screw dog. And you, dog. There you go. We have to use this against Nemesis when he comes back. Oh yeah, you got, you want to be careful here because you have these worm heads over here, so you want to avoid them. Oh yeah. We, God damn, you motherfucker! It was you, wasn't it? You in the police officer shirt, jackass. You know what, fuck it, let's take down that guy, that one guy. We can see his opening right there. Dare we risk using one shot to shoot him? Ah, fuck it. Nah. Oh yeah, because I forgot, we gotta use a grenade for that. But the problem is, we might need the grenade for earlier, so I'm not sure if it, um... Like, should we use it for earlier, or s save it for later, or... The grenades aren't actually that useful in this game, mainly for crowd control, that's all they can do. I think we have another one, right? Maybe we could just, um... Use that one here, because the thing is, it if we, um... Have to go there where Nemesis is chasing us and they stop us using those, uh, freaking tails... It's gonna become very difficult to outrun him, and we have to, we have to outrun him... Before we get to the, um... Damn, he's got mad range, too. We have to outrun him before he gets to the, um... Before he gets to the electric part, to the electric panel over there. Let's see. Let's see what this does. We only gotta take out those two. Let's go. There you go. Excellent. There we go. Because those two aren't a hassle. We can outrun them. It's the it's this bastard over here who who uh, tries to tackle you. That one we can outrun. So good. See if there's anything else over here. Got some gunpowder. There's the nest.
depending on how dark it is in the nest, I might have to up the brightness a bit because it is looking hella dark in the video. Ooh! Got lucky there. Ah, uh, but here comes, here comes the other one. There goes the other one. Can we knife her? Not a knife. Here he comes. Here comes fat boy. Damn, got lucky again. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, because we have the assault coin. So we preserve a bit of ammo right there. Give me that. Nothing here. We're going to save after using the green herb. Because, um... A lot of things can go wrong in that section very easily. And I remember it having a... I remember it, um... Having a very hard time in that nest. Because since they strike a lot harder now, they're not so easy to shrug off before like they are in the regular difficulty. Or even hardcore. And I just remember that we were actually going to use, um... We were actually going to, um... Switch over to 60 FPS, and I did not do it, so... Yeah, I was actually going to switch. Let's combine those. Store that. Let's combine this one. Oh yeah, we have three grenades. We're fine. We can just dig up another one next time. Because we're going to need one to get past all the zombies at the bottom. When we're heading back to the gas station. Not going to save just yet until we use the green herb. Smells like... Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Oh yeah, the brightness is gonna have to be upped quite a bit because I'm looking at it now I can't see shit on the screen. So I imagine you can't see anything either. That one's fine. Oh yeah, this one. Let's see how it looks. Alright, you can see a bit more detail. Um, this is a very dark area to begin with. Like, should we... Fuck it, let's just do it. I can always revert it back on my own. There we go. I can always just uh, change it back for when I play on my own. But I want you guys to be at least to be able to see. There we go, now we can actually see something. Because I have the laptop dark, but the thing is that even if I up the brightness on the laptop, it still looks dark, so... I want to make sure everyone can actually see what the hell is going on. Need these. We actually do not need to take that because um, that's just um, another lockpick, but we might as well take it, right? Just to see what happens. Because you get this lovely cutscene. case. Oh my god. Yeah, look at them all scaring around. Now you're gonna have mad um mad numbers of um drain damus. See that's just an extra lockpick which we don't need because we already have. We do need the bullets. Got plenty of bullets now. See it does look a bit washed out on my screen now but at least you guys can see hopefully. Hopefully, because this is a very dark place, regardless. What's funny is you can get rid of both lockpicks at the same time once you're done with them in the hospital. Once you no longer need them. Did you like the way they did the drain demos here? Damn, Joe got deep throated. That must taste nasty. Gonna need some ultra powerful mouthwash after, after like a whole bottle of Listerine. Get it out! Fucking gross! 
Yikes. You think Carlos kissed her on that mouth after they were all done in the helicopter? And he just reeled back once he, once he he realized she hadn't brushed her teeth in like two days or three days. Plus she'd gotten a taste of whatever the hell that was. You know, you think he was thinking like, oh, I wonder what it'd be like to kiss her. And she agreed and then he went in for it. And it's like, oh God, what the, that was, what was I thinking? That was not a good idea at all. That was not one of my brighter ideas. Come on, you know they got together after that. There's no way they didn't. People usually pair it with Chris, but I think her and Chris are just um, buddies, combat. Like like Solid Snake said, just combat buddies. They're partners, but um, I don't think they're interested in each other. Because to be honest, I think Chris is either gay or asexual, meaning he has no um interest in relationships or sex or anything like that. He just lives on a mission. Because um, I was gonna say Solid Snake, but Big Boss is kind of like that too. Even though Eva kind of sort of had something with him going on with him he was more dedicated to the mission and like the military and stuff like that and then solid snake had one fling with meryl that we know of but it, there's not really a lot of women in his life so i think chris might be the same where he's either gay not that there's anything wrong with that obviously but he's either gay or asexual it means he just doesn't uh, feel sexual attraction to anyone because we know wesker is like that most likely that Wesker had Excel a draped all over him and he did not um, respond in the slightest. All she was was just a checkbook to him, a purse. You know, open up that money bag and fund his experiments and stuff, but she, he didn't care for her at all. And we've never seen any hint or sign that he has interest in women. Like, he actually seemed more interested in his pal William Birkin. But I think that might have been more Birkin than Wesker. So I think we know Wesker at the, le at the very least is probably asexual. I think Chris might be as well. Because with some of the others, we get hints of partners or romantic interests or stuff like that. We never get anything like that for Chris. Zero. And the vibe that Gio has with Carlos, he doesn't have with anyone. Not in the slightest. The closest thing people said besides Gio might have been like Piers from RE6. But I never played that. So. Although even then, like even then it seemed more like he was um, shaken over losing a close comrade. Not like he was interested in Piers. So I think... Yeah, Chris just probably lives for the mission. He's one of those guys where he's not really interested in anything relating to sex or relationships. He's just his own man doing his own thing out in the world. Okay, we're going into the nest. Here it starts. Here it begins. What I was saying before that though, you think... What did you think of the drain demos here, um... I was disappointed because first of all like the brain suckers which was their alternate version in RE3 were much cooler than this they had smaller version of, the, of themselves both of them did but the drain the brain suckers were really cool the the main difference in the species oh there they are right there like peeking like we don't see him come on we see you get the hell out of here the main difference in the species is that um Drain demos are derived from, um, I think they said fleas or mosquitoes. No, I think drain demos are mosquitoes and then brain suckers are fleas. That's the difference between them. So they're kind of sort of the same and not quite. Um, brain suckers also have two heads. Oh, here they come. But here they made them more like spiders. And they die in one or two hits, but the problem is there's so many of them. But you only ever really encounter them as this one section, and from then on it's all just zombies and hunters, and the occasional liquor, so... It's kind of a waste. You know, it's, it's kind of a waste of a... God damn! Nope, you're not gonna get me, fool. Got you, motherfucker. Alright. Yeah, um, like, why introduce him to this one section and then never use him again? That to me shows inexperience. 
Ooh, motherfucker. Oh yeah, get that, get that. What are you piece of shit? God damn. No wonder they put so many green herbs. There's the last gem we need. Yeah, like why introduce him here and then never use him again? It, that's just inexperience on the part of the team. It's just sheer inexperience, nothing else. You can tell. The same way that they handle the Hunter Gammas, which are so cool looking, but then you only see them in the sewers and then never again. Or like uh, shifting Carlos over to the um, precinct instead of Jill, who's actually supposed to be there. Oh, look at this. If only we could shoot it out like an RE4 um, remake. But yeah, it's just, you can tell they were just um. Should we go up down there and get that green herb? I know it's a risk, but... You can tell this really was Capcom's B team. Like, they did not um exactly know what they were doing. Nope. You know what? Nah, forget it. Let's just uh, go. This guy had a whole... Uh, several minutes to write down his um, last thoughts here before he died here. You'd think he that we used him trying to get out of there. I don't know, this game is just patched together pretty much by the, the new B team that Capcom got that was apparently from Ninja Theory or something like that. Apparently there's a bunch of Ninja Theory developers who um, quit. No, was, wait, was it Ninja Theory or was it a... No, it was some other game company that they got all those guys from. I don't think it was Ninja Theory, I think it was some other, something else, but they got a whole bunch of developers. Was it Ninja Theory? I don't know. All, all I know was, um, it was the same guys who made Metal Gear Rising. Um, a bunch of those developers, they got, went over to Capcom and Capcom assigned them this. Instead of giving it to one of their more experienced teams. So they started near the end of, um, they started development near the end of, um, of, um, RE2 remake. So they didn't really dedicate as many resources to this as they should have. And the result is a game that is um okay in some parts and then just absolutely crappy in another. Get lost, spider. Look at that one over there, trying to find his time to strike. I don't like how you can't defend yourself when you do when you're doing that. You think she could use it with like you think she could, like, raise the lever with one arm and then fight them off with the other? Because it doesn't look that heavy, right? But I guess it's heavier than it looks. You need a lot of handgun ammo for this part. They die easily, but there's a lot of them. Oh, now we need the the big gun. Don't you run away from me. Damn, look at that, he got fried. Alright, only one left. Let's go. Yeah, coming out of those holes in the wall. Like, this place was kind of slightly scary when you first play the game, but then you get used to it, it becomes more annoying and scary eventually. Where's the last one? Oh, it's over here, shit. Wait a second. Oh yeah, we gotta go the opposite way. Gotta go over there. Look at all the handgun ammo we've wasted.
Where's the other one? Where's he coming from? Gotta make sure he's not coming first. Because he will get you right in the middle when you're raising that lever. There you go. Hell yeah, get juked, motherfucker. Run, Jill, get out of there. As fast as you can. Okay. All that we left the green herb behind, but fuck it, we're not going back for that. Are you kidding me? Hell no. That does it for the insects. We can go back and try to retrieve that green herb, I think. There's less of them now. At least there should be less of them. Let's go check. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen them make another appearance somewhere in another section of the game. Oh, never mind. They're still around. Thought maybe that would have killed most of them, but apparently not. Maybe it's only in uh, the lower difficulties. But since this is professional mode, or nightmare mode rather, they're right there. I don't know where we should save yet because um, we might get uh, hit by Nemesis over here. So let's put this in the box, put this over here. What do we have in terms of health? We have um, two first aid sprays, no we got three first aid sprays. Let's see. Now we go. Okay, so what do we have? Oh, we got quite a bit. So we got three. Got two green herbs. Um, I think we can manage with just one green herb. And we got the good old crafting companion. I think we should have enough. Oh yeah, we got to assign the, the slot to the shotgun. We haven't even done that yet. Um, you know what? I usually like... I usually like to put the gun, this one, on top. There we go. And then put the shotgun over here. Left and then right is either the magnum or grenade launcher. That's the way I like it. We can only hold four bullets. I think we don't get the upgrade for it until the very end near the, um, near the lab. Carlos, it's Jim. Oh yeah, he's gonna be coming Carlos in here, somewhere. Nemesis. Nice he can actually pursue you in Next here. Up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. Really? Way to go, partner. One step ahead. Not your partner. Jill looks like he's struggling there. Yeah, Jill should have just retired off to a private island with Carlos after this, or some tropical retreat somewhere just take his mercenary winners and get the fuck out instead of doing all this BSAA shit because this is us all this zombie killing is tedious he should have just retired if she had she would have avoided that whole unpleasantness with Westgren being you know brainwashed and held captive for what like three years five years however long it's been in Resident Evil 5 could have avoided that whole unpleasant thing if you just gone off at Carlos and fucked off somewhere to an island you know, if Chris wants to battle zombies and Weskers and all that shit so much, leave Chris to do it. Let him handle that, that bullshit. We can just retire. Ain't nobody gonna care. When Rebecca retired, she just said fuck it and went off to be like a doctor or something. She didn't even come back. Until they went for her for help. To, they, until they went to her for help in like 18 years later in Resident Evil Vengeance. Or Vendetta, whatever that movie is called. That... Rebecca didn't even come back. She just said, fuck him out, out of here. And she just went off and became a doctor. So what Joe should have done. Just run off with Carlos and say the hell with this. Or like Billy Cohen. We never saw him again. People say he might have died, but... At the same time, honestly, he probably didn't die. He probably just, um... Probably just, um... Retired somewhere. You know, just said, fuck it. I've had enough of this zombie killing bullshit. It's like Rocky says to um, Reggie and and Mike in Phantasm 3, or Reggie and Tim rather, she says, um, 
I like you guys, but this zombie killing thing just ain't my gig. That that's what Joe has to do. So she can avoid shit like this bullshit. Oh, you motherfuckers! Why are you here, jackasses? God damn, we electrocuted ourselves. Fucking god damn. Get lost, bitch. And you, jackass. Ooh. So this is a little trick they play on you. He will not come into this room. But he will go into that one. Right over there. It's a little trick they play on you. He will not go into this one with the gas can and all the stuff here, the car. And Murphy's dead ass over there. But he will grow into that one right there. So... Might have to create a separate save so that we don't have to do that section over again. Carlos! That thing is still alive! It's after me! What? Run! Come back to the station! Not until I get traffic control online. Have someone else do it. Send, I don't know, Mikhail. <laughs> have him get his injured ass over to the traffic control station and empty that. Have someone else do it. Why do we have to do it? Okay, so we need another one. Um, you know, fuck it. Let, let's erase this whole nightmare thing over here. That was the last save we made on that particular playthrough before Nemesis. So now we have to run because he is going to come in here eventually. Damn, we only got two shotgun shells. You want to take out these zombies before heading in here because he's going to jump over and land right there. So if you don't take out the zombies, now you're dealing with the zombies and him. Which is no good, so you want to take care of that soon. Take care of that one too over there. You can see her right there. With her slow motion. Going at like 10 frames per second. Now I'm trying to determine which way is safest because I'm... Um, over here we gotta climb we can get we can um he can pursue us there but the problem is i think over here even though it's closer i think you might have like the um the piles of zombies over there they, they should all be there i guess so we might have to might have to risk it i think that one's closer but this one's safer but then he can pursue you much quicker here than he can over there so which one like, if we could just get past into Moon's Donuts, we would be fine. Should we go left or right? God damn! There we go. One step close to our goal. Get rid of fat fucker over here. Get lost, bitches. Get lost, fools. Okay, back again. Right, we made it. We barely have any shotgun shells left, but we made it. Okay. Carlos, I'm in the control room. Now what? Nice. Now you gotta plot out a room. Okay, give me a sec. I always get so confused by this sometimes. All right, where are we headed? The train is stopped at Redstone Street. We need to reach Fox Park Station. Can you program that in? Hey, okay, so we gotta go Redstone. Okay, so. We're starting at Redstone 1, so we gotta go... Gotta go 2, right? Because it's uh, Faust. So we gotta go Faust 2. Then we gotta go RA... 2, right? No, 
No, I think it's a. Uh, No, I gotta go raccoon three. And then St. Michael's would be two. That should be it. Ballad route confirmed. There we go. Carlos, Ballad route confirmed. I finished him putting the subway route. So simple, and it just confused the hell out of me the first time I saw this. I think because it's all they're all packed in together like that. But goddamn, is that just not a reminder of all the places we didn't see in this cheap ass game? You could have gone to Stoneville, Market Street, could have gone to St. Michael's Clock Tower. Fox Park, my favorite in the original game, and we saw none of that. And we, instead, we saw the freaking outside of the clock tower, and then a, another generic umbrella lab. You effing bastards. That's why, they, you, that's why you don't put rookies to do experienced developers' jobs. You know, Silent Hill learned that um, lesson very painfully. Resident Evil should have learned it too, but no. Capcom has to be cheap. They gotta be cheap bastards, and you get what you get. Oh, now we gotta deal with this fucker too. I forgot he was here. We gotta get him when he turns around. Oh, there we go. When he opens that. Oh, there we go. When he opens that, that's just perfect time to get him. Cool, we killed him. Just like that. Make sure no one's inside the door. Oh, there they are right there. He's gonna jump around here, but there should be that explosive barrel right there that we can use against him. There's the one in the ceiling, I mean in, in the fire escape. So the problem is... Oh wait a second, I wonder does Nemesis actually go in there because I think now's when we first see him creating those things, so he might actually... We might actually be safe. If now we can just shoot out that barrel. God damn, just had to get that fucking last hit in, you son of a bitch. Just had to get that fucking last hit in. Should we use the um, recovery coin, or is that cheating? You know, we'll use a first aid spray for now. We can, if if things get really desperate later on, then we'll dig out the recovery coin. But I don't think we're in dire straits just yet. We still have a bunch of health in there, so I don't think we're quite um, that bad that we need the recovery coin. But it's there if we need it. What we do need is um, shotgun ammo. So we're gonna dig out the old crafting companion. Oh no, never mind. We have a, we have a ton of shotgun ammo there. I didn't even see that. Never mind. Then we're not gonna dig out the old crafting companion. We're just gonna stick with this for now. I forgot that was in there. I just totally forgot we stacked in there to pick some space. Do we have enough to craft handgun ammo though? That's the thing. Let's see. Oh, we got a ton of... We have a ton of them. Maybe we can craft just one. You know, just, just one... Just one bit of um, hand, handgun ammo and then we all, we'll be on our way. This should give us more. Oh hell yeah, there we go. We're all set. Now we can put away the crafting companion for a long while. We're not going to use it. Just save again, just so we can't reverse our decision. There's no turning back now. There's no turning back. We have to make it to the subway station. That's where she gets interrupted by saying, you want stars, I'll give her stars, and the nemesis just whacks her in the back of the head. They chose the absolutely worst placement for that line that they could have. Now this is going to be tricky because... 
Actually, wait a second. What are we missing from here? What do we leave behind? It says there's something in there, but what I... You know, never mind. Uh, whatever's in there can stay in there. <laughs> we ain't going back for that. It's probably just some... It's probably just a pack of uh, handgun bullets or something. We're, we're, in, we're not going back for that shit. Now, normally you like to use a grenade to take him out here. In case the whole electricity thing doesn't work. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's what we need, the grenade to get past all those zombies. There's like eight of them. Never mind, that's what we need. We need a freaking grenade, otherwise we're trapped there. There's no way out. Yeah. We do have the, the magnum that can definitely disable him for a while. So if we uh, find it too hard to get past him, we can just dig out the magnum and shoot him in that electric thing covering the heart. That'll slow him down for a while. My question is, how does he grow so many of them? <laughs> you fool! This jackass! We're almost through, we're almost through. Get off, you fool! Oh, Nemesis with the save. Thanks, my guy. Appreciate it. Damn, he actually saved us. That happens once in a while. He will actually uh, help you out. Unintentionally, but still. Gonna save again. I don't know, you think, you think we can do that without taking any damage? I think we can do that without taking any damage. Should we just, should we just risk it? Like maybe, maybe we could just shoot him and because we have the explosive barrel, maybe we can just shoot him over there. Yeah, never mind. We're just, just gonna save right here. We'll shoot him over there and then get whatever item he has off him and then leave. We're not gonna. Oh yeah, damn! We forgot. We also forgot to use the stones. It's a good thing we checked the map. We're gonna leave out all that good, all that gear, all those goodies in there. All right, let's use them. Start red. Got another grenade. Nice. That'll come in handy later. Do green. Got a tactical st stock for the shotgun. I thought that was for the handgun we weren't gonna use, but it's actually for a shotgun, so it's actually pretty useful. There we go, got an empty shotgun. Finally, let's use old blue. And we got a side pack. Or a hip pouch, as they call them here. It's not a side pack, it's a hip pouch. It's not a man purse, it's a pouch. You know, man purses are for babies. Just so we don't have to use those those uh, stones over again. I'd rather not. I'd rather not spend the two minutes needed to use those things all over again. Jill's looking rough. She needs a shower and some bandages. Nice job, Super Cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai! How are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? She's helping get the trains running again. Bad time to start getting dead weight through. She's unreliable. Can't pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take it easy. Shut up, Nikolai. You're a bitch. You're a punk. She'll get you killed. What would have happened if Joe just pulled out her hanger and popped him right there? Sorry about you know, they, that. They have shot her. Since they all secretly hit him, they have been drilled. Oh, come on. 
Not again. Guess he's done playing with the worm heads outside. Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait! Wait, Jill! No! Damn it! Come on, you creepy ass dog! Ah! God, see see what see what I mean, man? Oh, he's got the bad breath too. Damn, there goes our first death. It stinks that badly that it just completely knocks you out. Come on, you creepy ass stalker! You want stars? I'll give you stars! God damn! Here we go. Come on. Come on. Hey damn, he came around from the other side. That's bullshit. Come on, you creepy ass stalker. You want stars? I'll give you stars. He can't run for the other side. That sucks. That's, that's bullshit. Come on. Come on over here. Come on, you jackass. Here we go. Grab his item. Grab his box. There we go. We're out of here. Come on, Gio, kick it open. Use that strength of yours. While his old trash bag ass is lying down. And shots like that are why they use the score. No peeking up Jill's skirt. Even though that's the least you should be worrying about at this time. It really doesn't look right, but that's what I think that's just because scores in general don't look right. The bigger question is how does Jill not fall out of that two top of all that supporting them? She is stacked. Carlos, do you copy? Carlos! Carlos, we're in deep shit right now. Literally, we're in the sewers. We need some backup and some deodorant right now. Or air deodorizer. Oh hell yeah, I got six bullets. Kind of sucks, but eh. We probably should have shot him um, at the donut place to get the other item he had on him. I think the rest of it is just um, first aid sprays. I don't think they actually give you extra handgun parts here. I think it's just first aid sprays. All right, we got past that. So um, combine this, store that, gonna store this and this one. Let's combine these, let's see how much we can carry. We carry 20, so let's store the extra the extra two. There we go. We're gonna keep one herb on us at all times. A map of Oh there's a map. I was wondering, why is it still lit up? Why is it red? Alright, we safely got past and now we can go back for a regular save over here. Now comes a really stinky part of the game. Not because of it being bad, just because it smells down here obviously. In the sewer section. Jill's skin is gonna need some freaking um, antibacterial stuff. We're gonna need like antibiotics and a whole bunch of skin skin cream and shit after going through this mess. We're waiting barefoot to sewage. Oh, 
I'm definitely burning these clothes. Why do people say that though, that you have to burn them? Isn't it enough to just get rid of them? Do you really have to burn them? Really? I think no matter which way we go, we're um we're gonna run into them, right? So we might as well just equip this until we get the um till we get the um grenade launcher. Oh yeah, here he comes. There you go, you wanna hit him with that first. Oh, he's dead! Damn! He scored a direct hit on him, that's never happened before. It usually takes like one or two more shots to take him down, even just a few handgun bullets, but no, that killed him instantly. He scored a direct hit on that, on that tongue. There we go, we got, got A. That's just chronicli chronicling how um, they created the uh, Hunter Gamma. Specimen is now able to move quickly and swallow prey whole. Additional hormones and drugs. Umbrella has officially shut down Gamma research and managed to smuggle some specimens, uh, specimens with especially high potential from the lab before disposal. Dr. Logan Carlisle is more committed than ever to perfecting the Gamma line. Two weeks since relocating to the sewers. Gammas learn quickly learn the layout of the sewers. Within two days, we're exploring the entire underground of Raccoon City. All specimens are familiar and friendly towards us, but I procured high power weaponry as a safeguard in the event that they become uncontrollable. Water treatment worker found his way into the lab, but the Gammas promptly eliminated him. This proves their viability for field use. I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Perhaps they will see the light. So they ate a sewer worker. This is from Kendo. Explosive rounds, explosive A times two, flame rounds, explosive A plus explosive B, acid rounds, ex explosive B. Mine rounds can't be ready to craft, and now we're stocking up on one help if we need to keep the gammas online. Yeah, and the mine, the mine rounds are only useful for later in the hospital and in the nemesis fight. We got acid rounds, explosive, uh, flame rounds are the most useful here. That's what we should focus on here. It already comes with one equipped. Yeah, those are most useful here, but explosives are actually most useful overall later on towards Nemesis because acid doesn't really do much to him. I think it works against the normal enemies, but not him. So you want to craft acid for him and flame. That's all you need against Nemesis later on. I think there might be more of them since it's a higher difficulty, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, they throw these shitheads at you? Should we just run past them? Yeah, I think we can just make it to the lab, right? You know what? Never mind, let's reload because we can just run past them while they're all. While they fall down, they can't do anything to you, so let's just reload. We're just gonna run straight past them, so... You know, we're gonna have to ditch the, um... Green herb. And this, to make sure we have enough space. Oh, and since we actually don't need, um... Handgun ammo here. We're just gonna ditch this. I don't know, should we, you know? Should we ditch it, um, Or should we just ditch the knife? I think the knife, right? Because we don't need... That for now, there's no zombies in the sewer that we can use that against, so ditch that. See, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Should be good. Should be good.
Yeah, we don't need that stuff. That stuff is only for zombies. There's none in the sewers beside these creeps, so... We should be fine. We're just gonna run straight past them. Now, we have two choices. We can go to the lab or we can go over here. But the problem is this is a dead end. So I think it's best to go to the lab first. Shit. Bad idea. Bad idea. Let's reload. We should have gone the other direction first. Shit. Good to know. I thought they'd replaced them, but no, it looks like they just added them in. So that was a bad idea. Like we could just take a grenade to eliminate them, but I want to save those for later if we need some crowd control. I think we're going to have to head in the opposite direction because the, the gammas will not pursue you in the, into that waterfall area. Take care of that dude. There we go, we got past them. And they're dead, so all we have left is those two guys over there. Perfect. That's perfect, because now we don't have to worry about them. There's still more stuff around there somewhere. Over at the opposite end. Oh, I forgot, we had this piece of shit right here. The battery. Thing sucks. Takes up so much fucking space. High grade gunpowder. Might have to use the green herb just to get rid of it. Which is fine, I don't mind using it. Explosive A. Gunpowder. Oh yeah, we got everything, so I think yeah, we're just gonna use the green herb just to get rid of it. Just get rid of that thing. Oh, we should have uh, saved the bees so we can combine that shit. This creates shotgun shells, but I'm not sure we need more of those right now. A love letter? My little darlings, it's already been three months since we fled here together. I find myself thinking back of the day you hatched. Your little voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little body is brimming with this incredible destructive power. And of course that voracious insatiable appetite. You are no less than the pinnacle of the Hunter series. And yet they ordered me to destroy you. They said you weren't fit for use for weapons. For use as weapons because of a few minor vulnerabilities. So what if you're susceptible to heat? So what if your delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed? Haven't they heard, ever heard of character flaws? It is those very flaws that make you so very pre precious to me. But we'll show them yet. Down here, con we'll continue to walk this evolutionary path together. We'll prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved Hunter Gambas, are truly superior. This guy is insane. He should have dated more instead of focusing on this experiment. Now, we got a problem because we need to get whatever's over there. But we don't have the space for it. Did they fuck off somewhere? Make sure not to disturb them. Gotta go through the chocolate waterfall. They went in that direction, right? They're not behind here. Oh shit, there they are right there, motherfuckers. Oh shit, I forgot. Gotta waste a bullet from this. Shit! Here's the sewer worker's notes. It happened again. They got Kane this time. They got the Undertaker's brother. 
Next time one of those free shows his mouth, I'm gonna hit it right in his big ugly. Next time one of those free shows his face, I'm gonna hit it right in his big ugly mouth. That did not work out well for him. You know, I'm gonna need a lot of shotgun shells. Like, should we just sacrifice this? And then that's it. That's all the shot shotgun shells we're gonna make. Because the Magnum actually has limited use in the game. It's actually mainly just for Nemesis fights and for the Pale Heads. So I'm not sure we actually need them um, to really save it. Short on space though, so... Do we? I don't know, man. Do, do we risk it? Oh, you know what here is going to do? We're going to take out those freaks. Screw you. And you. And you. Hell yeah. Now we just reload. There you go. We don't have to actually waste anything. It's only four. There you go. All we have left is one lousy shot. We can we can do without one shot. We don't need that. There you go. Improvisation. Necessity is the mother of impro improvisation. Is that how how that goes? Oh shit! We got another one of these freaks. At least uh, flame grenades are very useful here. Depending on the game, sometimes they're pretty useless or near useless, depending on which version of what game you're playing. Sometimes they work wonders, and then other times, like in the original RE1, you want to avoid them because they don't really do anything except burn zombies. Yeah, the, the flame grenades sucked. The flame rounds, they sucked in the original RE1. Not to remake the original one. They were bad. You want to avoid them at all costs. And just uh, use the acid or explosive rounds. They're not worth collecting. Because they just fry the zombies and sometimes they don't even do it properly. I'm going to need more flame rounds. That's why I'm going over here. Because I think after that we're heading upstairs. Oh yeah, that's just one round we left behind. After that we're heading upstairs. We're gonna need more flame rounds, but we don't have any here, so we're gonna have to make some. Yeah. So that's why we're gonna stick this in here for now. Pull out the old explosive B. Let's make some flame rounds. Hell yeah, there we go. Because we need them from up upstairs. Let's save. Hold on a moment, let me double check something real
Sorry about that, just checking to see um, if movie night has started yet or not. Um, we still have a couple moments until movie night, so we can just finish out this section here. We're going to take out this guy, get the items from above, and then we're going to save upstairs. Near a nemesis um, area. Yeah, we still got a bit of time. I was afraid they started already, but now we still got some. Still got a few minutes left, so we can afford to come up here and get those extra items. Because that way we can just save right before the first Nemesis fight. That'll be a good place to stop. I'd say we're about halfway through the game. It's taken longer than usual because it is um, nightmare mode. We gotta proceed cautiously. And we already died twice. Normally we're already cleared the section by now. This is actually a very short game, which is one of the. Um, Flaws people have a large problem with the fact that they took an already short game and made it even shorter, you know? Not exactly extending the replay value there, they actually made the damn game shorter instead of a uh, longer like they should have. Let's unlock that. Because we actually need this stupid thing to access the, the closet room over there. Don't you hate, don't you hate it when they... They force you to use space on mandatory items like that that only serve like one or two uses. Instead of just putting in your key item inventory, they put in your main inventory. That sucks. Because you're never going to use this thing after this section ever. So why why have it? Why even have it here? Why have it take up so much space instead of just sticking it in like your key item stuff? Like Jill does with the vaccine. You know, don't even ha don't have it on screen. You know, just have it like in her other inventory that you don't see. There's no reason to actually stick it in here. That coffee must be three or four days old, minimum. Must taste awful. Like shit, right? Like when Austin Powers drank that so-called coffee. And he said, this coffee tastes like shit. And they were like, we know, Austin. It is shit. And now he just said, like, I'm glad I'm glad everyone acknowledges it. <laughs> he did not know what he was drinking. So yeah, we're going to get to the... Oh shit, we forgot the fucking battery pack. See what I mean? This thing, this thing sucks. This thing is bullshit. We're actually going to save one more time before doing that flip because um, it is actually very easy for a certain zombie to grab you before you reach Nemesis. So I'd rather... um, I'd rather save just out of... You know, just out of caution, save one more time before we go try to dodge that zombie. And then if we dodge him successfully, we'll just save over in the, um, we'll just save in the, in the construction area where he's, where he's at. We'll just save over there. It's a lot of saving, but that's what you gotta do in nightmare mode. You gotta manage your items successfully and you have to save a lot because you never know what can go wrong at any little time. Like I said, we still haven't needed to dig out the the recovery coin, but we may have to later on if we run short on resources, especially near the lab, because those pale heads can be a pain. So we might have to do that later on, dig out those coins. But for now, we're doing pretty good. Damn, Jill's sweater is all stained from crap, literally. Oh yeah, we're going this way. Lane Night with the Devil. Huh? I wonder how that movie is. It's gotten pretty good, good reviews. It's gotten rave reviews actually. So, hoping it's pretty good and not a letdown like a lot of shows uh, produced movies are. This one was. This one they kind of financed it. I don't think they really created it themselves. They kind of financed it, and then um, it was in theaters for about a month or so, and then it premiered. It's premiering now on Shutter. Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. The subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make There's actually a Mr. Everywhere statue over here. Or whoever you had to, whoever it was that you had to get. That toy statue, Uncle Bob, is that what his name is? Uncle Bob? There was actually one right here when you first started playing the game for the very first time. Obviously I already got it, but just uh, letting you know, like, if you're playing the game for the first time, there is a statue right there. You have to look behind you. 
And here comes Nemesis 1 and 1 and best chance to kill Jail here, which is never explained why he just lets her go. Most incompetent bioweapon ever. Look, look at this shit. He had her right there. And instead of killing her, what, if he, what does he do? He throws her to the side. Like, what the fuck? She, he, God damn, you fool. You could have just fried her face there. She would have been dead. Fucking moron. Oh, this guy's the guy you gotta dodge. There we go. Got it past him. That guy got me quite a few times there the first time I played this on Nightmare on Inferno. I think it was like three times he got me. Yeah. Because you can take him off the shotgun, but I'd rather not waste the ammo. Plus you gotta run for Nemesis, so... It's just better to dodge him, but it can be a little tricky. Got Explosive A. We're actually not gonna need grenades for the fight with Nemesis. It's just purely shotgun and handgun ammo, but we'll, we will be using those later on in the second fight against him, so... I'm gonna say right here. There you go. That's it for Resident Evil 3 Remake Nightmare Mode for now. Uh, we got an hour and six minutes done, which I think is pretty good progress. We're already past like the. We're, we're actually way past the first half of the game. So when we pick this up, um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Probably not. I can. Well, maybe. It depends on what what else I have to do. But um, when we pick it up next time, we're going to fight Nemesis in the second battle. That's the one with the flamethrower. Which can actually be a little trickier on Nightmare and Inferno than it is in regular mode. Because uh, he's way quicker, recovers sooner, and uh, his flamethrower does more damage. So it can definitely be quite a tricky battle. But yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I'm also going to continue with Ape Escape, which I just uploaded. Check it out if you like good old-fashioned platformers. It's still pretty very good video game it's a damn good video game and it's timeless too you know ape escape is one of the sony greats that unfortunately they don't return to anymore and it's a shame because those those games were some of the games that defined the playstation generation both one and two so it's a shame that they don't revisit them anymore but we're going to do that and we're also going to continue on with alan wake 2 and um resident evil 4 remake professional mode which is actually going pretty smoother a lot smoother than I imagined. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you again next time on Resident Evil 3 Remake on the PS5 with Nightmare Mode. See you later.